Now let us understand some of the control structure in program. What is a control structure? This defines how the programming will flow, means how the instructions will be executed one after another. There are three different types of control structure. The first one is sequential control structure, means each of the instruction in a program will execute one after another. The second one is a branch control structure. In branch control structure, there is basically a condition and if the condition is true, some specific instructions in the program will be executed and if the condition is false, then some other instructions of the program will be executed. It is just like the example, let's say you are driving the car and in a fork you saw that if you go to the right, you will go to the forest and if you go left, you will end up in a city. And it now it is up to you where you want to go. If you want to go to the forest, take right or if you want to go to the left, you will go to the city. Like so. We will learn about branching in the next module with Python language. The next control structure is looping, which tells you if uh, how to execute some specific set of instructions repetitively. Here also there is a condition. If the condition is true, then some specific set of instruction is executing or repeating again and again and again. And once that condition is false, it is breaking the loop and execute some other programming instruction. This is similar to an example of track and field competition, where a competitor start from a lap zero and then continue running every lap. And after the end of this repetitive, repetitive laps, after the end, let's say after uh, four laps or something like that, the race is finished. That's loop. Again, we will understand the loop in more detail in the next uh, module when we will learn Python language. And there we will do lots of hands-on example also. There is another different type of control structure which is called function in program where you can offload some of the workload from one part of the program to another part of the program. It is just like the fact let's say you have you got two numbers 5 and 4 and you have to add those two numbers but you really do not know the addition. Well, just assume, I know you all know addition, but just for the sake of the clarity, assume that you do not know the addition. But suddenly you realize that your friend Bob know how to add it. So what will you do? You call Bob and then you tell Bob that Bob, please add 5 and 4. Now. Bo in, in Bob's send, Bob got 5 and 4 from you and then add those two numbers and return your result, return the result to you. So that is a function. Here you are one piece of program. Let's say your name is Alice. Alice is one set of program and Alice is performing some task. And Bob is another set of instructions in the program who is doing some other task. And some part of the program, some part of the work, Alice is offloading to Bob. In the next module, we will learn about function with some more detail with hands-on example in Python.